Hey there, welcome to tutorial number 6. This time we'll be extending the car we built in the previous tutorial to add a steering mechanism. Bear in mind the way I'm going to build this is just one way you can do it. There are many other ways too. So first let's add uh, a cross member. I'm going to hit, I'm going to push forward on the mouse wheel to position it underneath the other beams. You can toggle between that. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to put um, a couple of upright axles. And then these will be our steering arms, which we want to rotate. A couple more uprights. Remembering to delete the rigid attachments to allow it to rotate. And I also am going to need to delete these two as well to now allow the steering arm to slide across the other two beams and we can test that, that works that's that's okay and then we're going to add some axles I can't position the axle here because the upright the other upright axle is in the way so I have to do it one unit back from that add a couple of wheels And last of all, we need to add a servo motor to allow us to control the steering. And we need another one as well over here. Now, once I switch the uh, servo motor on, I can now control the steering. And by default, the servo, like the the uh, other regular motor, is, is set up to use W and S. So what we need to do is just go in and change that to use the horizontal controls. And now, when I use A and D, the, uh, the steering is activated as we want. And then if I turn on the other motor, which is set up to use W and S, we have a vehicle that we can, can drive around. And there are lots of ways you can extend um, the steering. You can, if you, uh, to improve it, I mean, you can position the, these upright pins one unit in inside the other one, which kind of gives you a, a kind of a, what's called an Ackerman steering. It basically means that the uh, inside wheel will steer a bit more than the outside wheel. Um, but for, for a very simple example, this, this works pretty well. I'm sure there are lots of other ways to, to make it better and do it in different ways. Well, that concludes this series of tutorials for now. And uh, I'll make sure to add more as the game develops as an, uh, and as more parts get added. And what I've shown so far barely scratches the surface of what can be already built in the game, really. And uh, I can't wait to see what other constructions you guys come up with. Well, until next time, thanks for watching.